So CONFIRM is a randomized phase three trial um, of nivolumab, sort of evaluating uh, anti-PD-1 immunotherapy in a relapse setting, uh, which is a setting of unmet need, a setting in which we don't have yet a licensed uh, treatment. Um, and this study was a double-blind placebo-controlled study um, uh, using overall survival and progression-free survival as the primary endpoints. Um, the study met its primary endpoints, um, both uh, for PFS overall survival. It's important to mention that because of COVID, we had to stop the study rather early, although we were very close to full recruitment. And when we did the evaluation of the number of events um, that we had at that point in time, um, or that we're likely to have um, over the four, uh, four coming months, we realised that we had enough power uh, through the expected events to, to be able to uh, complete the study successfully. So we stopped recruitment in uh, March of last year, and we went on to August when the IDMC, our Independent Data Monitoring Committee, recommended release of the um, results. Of course, they have blinded, um, unblinded uh, access to those results as as committees should. And um, on the basis of that, we're able to present early. What's key is that the overall survival is immature in this um, study uh, result that I've presented at ILSLC. Um, we had a target of about 290 or so pay, uh, events, survival events, um, but what we're presenting is 230 um, approximately. And so uh, we will have some further maturation of the data but nevertheless, based on the, um, the top level results, we saw what was a balanced population of patients with pleural and parasitic mesothelioma. Uh, we saw um, superiority of nimolumab over and above placebo. Hazard ratio is 0.72, uh, p-value is 0.018. And um, progression-free survival uh, had a hazard ratio of 0.61, with a p-value of less than 0.001. In the results that were presented, we're also able to look at uh, really important um, strata. So we looked at the PDL1 expression. The PDL1 has been very controversial in mesothelioma. It's been cited as a negatively prognostic factor. Um, of course, it's supposed to be, as it is, of course, in, in, um, uh, in lung cancer, a predictive factor. Um, and so we used 22C3, which is a clone of uh, PDL1 antibody by DACO, which is used in our practice and we know very widely around the world in lung cancer to estimate the tumor proportion score expression of PDL1. And with that test, um, using the standard approach to measuring tumor proportion score, uh, we did not see any impact at all, either on the control arm, which might suggest prognos prognostic impact or on the experimental arm uh, to suggest a predictive effect. And this was a pretty robust, um, uh, statistically robust uh, outcome. Uh, we also looked at histology. And with histology, uh, we found in the epithelioid uh, subgroup, around about 88% of patients, uh, the hazard ratio is 0.71. It's a significant advantage um, for patients with epithelioid disease. Um, this is important because in the Checkmate 743, the benefit of that therapy, statistically, when looking at subgroups, seemed to be very much focused on the non-epithelioid subgroup. Um, mostly, of course, because these patients did very, very badly with chemotherapy. So um, what we've found here in CONFIRM is that a group of patients who do approximately the same with the immunotherapy in the front line um, or with chemotherapy, well, in the relapse setting, it's a robust uh, benefit over and above um, placebo. Um, in terms of safety, uh, we compared, of course, placebo with drug, and we found no signal to give us any concerns regarding toxicity. And um, for that reason, we're, we're confident this is a safe treatment to administer. So in summary, um, nivolumab met its primary endpoint. It's a safe, effective treatment. I think this will provide some, you know, uh, opportunity for certain patients who have unmet need in this setting.